Morning y'all from Saturday at Texas Motor Speedway. Gonna do another little hashtag MP show me here. Just before we get to the final practice session of the day, we're gonna do a special session to run in, try and get some rubber on that second lane here, give drivers a chance to actually pass in the corners. And to do that, IndyCar is not only gonna let teams go out with an extra set of tires to try and achieve that, but they're gonna let them do that with extra downforce. So it's a bit sunny here, it's still a bit cold, but wanted to show you what they're going to do in particular at the rear of the cars to get that extra downforce to help bury the cars into the ground, bury the tires into the ground, leave some rubber behind. So let's talk about how we're going to make that extra downforce during that session. You see the rear wing here, Mahunko's hauling a racing entry, the number 77 Chevy. See the, what they call the rear attenuator. That is a crushable carbon fiber structure. There's aluminum honeycomb and all kinds of stuff in there that in a rearward impact will accordion and uh, dissipate energy. But on top of that, you'll see the rear wing mounts. You see these brackets and the sliders that they have. The slider's pretty interesting. Here's also uh, the swims to hold on to the rear wing in the event of a crash, not let it go away. But you'll notice at the back, there is this adjustment system. You see with the plus and minus. So a mechanic will use a, a little handle, a spin handle with a socket turn that nut and either increase or decrease downforce, change the angle of the rear wing. So that's what's going to happen here towards the end of the day. Crank in some extra downforce beyond what they're allowed to use in the race here, uh, but do that to really help the cars dig into the track. And then also they will match that, right? You never just add a bunch of downforce to one end of the car without balancing it at the other. And although we have the uh, front wings here upside down, which is actually kind of a cool thing to look at. Uh, they will increase front wing angle as well to match the rear and drivers will have that valuable downforce.